how to use uniswap quick and easy tutorial hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we'll be taking a look at uniswap which is a quick and easy to use decentralized protocol that allows you to swap earn and build on their platform so let's get into it now uniswap is mostly known for a simple service where you can switch your blockchain now why is switching blockchains important and how do you do that so switching blockchains is super important because if you go onto metamask and you have a ethereum mainnet wallet and you're going on OpenSea and you see a solona nft then you're going to have difficulty purchasing that nft because your wallet is based on ethereum mainnet so for that purpose you want to actually swap your wallet's blockchain and to be able to do that is very very simple using uniswap now to get started, simply go on to uniswap.org and once you go on over here, you're simply going to click on launch app on the top right section. Once you've done that, you can see you have a simple swap section. However, the first thing you can do is click on connect over here and you can choose to connect any of your wallets. So you have MetaMask, you have Coinbase, you have Wallet Connect and we're going to select MetaMask from here. And I will click on next on the right side of my screen. For any wallet that you connect, you're going to get a notification where you have to approve it. And once you have approved it, your account will be connected. So now you can see that my account has been connected. So first off, you can see I have swap and I can use any of the token that I have and select I want to buy bounce instead of ethereum and i can enter the amount you will also get a best price option which is super super helpful so you can see over here that you have the best price option and uh, you have the impact warning as well and then you have the expected output and price impact that you will do after you make this trade plus you also have a minimum received after slippage and network fee so you can see in this way that you have quite a large directory of exchanges that you can use to simplify your process so after that other than your basic swapping features you have tokens so if you click on tokens on the top left of your screen you can see you have multiple different tokens you can monitor prices you can monitor one day prices one hour prices one week prices and the overall volume tvl and change of that specific token these are just some of their top tokens and if you click on any kind of token so let's say we have the die stable coin and if you open up the token you will get a chart as well as you know a swapping option and the overall statistics as well for that specific token plus you also get all of the links so you get a ether scan link as well as analytics and the basic website for that token as well as the twitter now after that you also have pools now pools are a amazing way to make money and provide liquidity and a lot of these exchanges need money they need liquid tokens to be able to trade here and there all the time so that is why pooling your money into a liquidity pool actually helps you a lot in making profits it's like putting your money in a savings account in a bank and you get a larger return simply because they're using your savings money you know broaden their investments and then they put in the profit back to you now you can simply click on new position over here and add liquidity into any kind of position of your choice so let's say i select ethereum like this and you can enter the fee tier you can enter the amount and your position as well now other than that other than just putting in a position for a liquidity pool you can simply click on create a pool over here and create your own you also have migrate options so you can migrate v2 liquidity and you can remove your liquidity from the uniswap version 2 and deposit it into the version 3 of uniswap as well now other than that you also have v2 liquidity and the basic learn section where you can learn more about the uniswap platform now other than that you have your vote in governance which is something that is popularized a lot by a lot of these decentralized platforms where everything is voting based it's very essential that the people get to input on the new features updates and so much more so it is another uh, governance platform that is based on votes now after that you can see i am on the ethereum mainnet over here if i click on polygon this will swap my network to polygon now you can see metamask is giving me a notification and if i want to switch my blockchain to the polygon blockchain i will click on approve over here i will click on switch network and just like that i have been switched to the polygon network and your funds will also be switched as well so keep that in mind now you can see i am on the polygon network instead of ethereum mainnet however 
If I open up my MetaMask account from over here, I can simply switch back to the Ethereum mainnet. Now, other than that, you can also switch to Optimism, Arbitrum, and Celo. So let's say I want to switch to Arbitrum. All I'm going to do is I'm going to head on over to Uniswap. Once I am on Uniswap, I will click on Polygon or on the top right over here, and you will click on Arbitrum. And then you have to approve it in your wallet so a new little option will open up a new little pop-up and then you're going to scroll down click on approve click on switch network and now just like that i have been moved to the arbitrum blockchain so you can see i am now on the arbitrum blockchain now other than that you have your basic wallet information you can open it up in your the arbis scan as well to get a overview your name tag all the information tokens and the overall uh, comments that are available on your wallet as well so that is just another helpful feature that can help you in analyzing your crypto tokens or your crypto portfolio now you can see that the token bridge allows you to quite often do a bunch of different things so if we open up the arbitrum bridge over here so you can go on ahead and enter the amount of ethereum that you want from the arbitrum one and then you will move to the mainnet or you can move from the mainnet to the arbitrum one as well so you also have the uh, innovative features that allow you to update your crypto or update the blockchain that you are on because the ethereum mainnet has a lot of gas fees it is becoming more and more expensive to operate on ethereum mainnet so arbitrum which is provided by uniswap allows you the features of ethereum allows you the simplicity of ethereum blockchain as well as a lower gas fees and lower processing fees simply to make your blockchain transactions more effective and simpler to do now now, once again in the basic features such as swapping you can go into the settings and you can also turn on auto slippage so auto slippage allows you to revert your transactions if the price changes unfavorably by more than a certain percentage so maybe i wanted to switch from ethereum to ave however if i'm getting a slippage of over two percent i don't want to go through with this transaction so in that situation i will put in the auto slippage of two percent and if the slippage goes above Above two percent my transaction will be reverted and it won't go through and i won't be spending or wasting any of my money plus you also have expert mode as well so if you click on turn on expert mode you can type in confirm over here and once you do that some of the features just become a little more detailed on their platform and you can go on ahead and swap in further more detail so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with uniswap make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries leave them in the comment box down below and i will catch you guys in the next video